Hello, Stim Perfect from Two Canoe Software, and I have been doing some time trials with using Mac to Play Stick and an Atonaton um, to install uh, Mojave Mac OS uh, 10.14, um, erase and install on a, on a Mac, and then install uh, a WinClone image so we'll have Windows 10 on it, and also Boot Runner and some various other pa packages like Microsoft Office and some browsers. So this is how I've Mac deployment stick, uh, Mac deploy stick set up. I've got Mojave and a disk image selected. I have a workflow called Dual Blue in Office, and um, I just have a package folder on my desktop that has all the packages I want. And you can see in here these are the different packages I have. Uh, let me open this up. You can see that it has uh, Boot Runner three license and Boot Runner. So that means Boot Runner allows you to select a dual boot partition. Um, certificate request I just threw in there is one of our applications. Um, configuration setup assistant, so it will skip the uh, require the keyboard language setup on first on first boot. It creates a user, um, so it uh, will end up logging in and going right to the desktop. Normally, the user would be prompted for um, to accept the privacy settings. So I have a package that it, uh, will skip that setup. Then I have Firefox and Chrome that will be installed. Uh, Microsoft Office 2016 and then this Windows 10 package is a WinClone package that will create a bootcamp partition, restore a WinClone image to it um, and also it's been sysprepped and also has a um, uh, unintend uh, uh, XML file that configures Windows for you. So the idea behind this is that once this image or once this uh, the Mac deploy stick process is completed um, you'll have a fully functional dual boot machine with a bunch of different software uh, that's installed on it. So um, uh, that's how my configuration is. So the next thing we'll do is we'll boot into the recovery partition and uh, plug in the auto automaton and let it uh, automatically configure itself and do some time trials to see exactly how long it takes to get a full dual boot system set up with a brand new uh, install of Mac OS um, software and, and Windows. Okay, this is the time trial. And we're gonna start from the option screen. So we'll hold down the option key and plug in the Arduino as well as the external volume. Um, it boots up, uh, it's time elapse here of course, and then the Arduino takes over and opens up the uh, imager and then we start running the workflow. Um, once that's completed, it will reboot and go into the installer. And then the installer will run and uh, install Mac OS, and then it'll do another reboot. And at that point, um, it'll finish up and install the packages we created, including uh, the WinClone package. And once that's completed, it'll go to the desktop. And then we can log out, Boot Runner will show up, we can select the WinClone, or Windows volume, and it'll reboot into Windows 10 and complete the setup. And when Windows 10 uh, setup is completed, there will be another reboot in here, and then it will go to the uh, Windows uh, login screen. So there you have it. Uh, it takes about 21 minutes to completely erase the volume or the drive, install Mac OS, uh, install packages, including a WinClone package, which creates a bootcamp partition and restores Windows 10 onto it. So I find that to be very fast. Um, you can take a machine and set it up from scratch in about 21 minutes with only just a few seconds of operator intervention. Um, go away and then come back 20 minutes later and it'll be completely set up. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed so you can get updated with more uh, videos like this one. And uh, thank you very much for watching.